Good morning. My name is Lily J, and I'm truly honored to be here. Getting into college is hard. Getting your college back, reclaiming it as your own after sexual assault is nearly impossible. I was raped just a few weeks into my freshman year. I pantomimed learning and watched educational opportunities slip away. The day I found out that the student who had raped me raped someone else, I filed a disciplinary complaint. I joined survivors across the country in announcing our truth. And activism seemed like a promising antidote to the loneliness of surviving assault. But the truth is, it didn't help me reclaim college. Because whether you're thinking about it because you're scared of the boy down the hall, or because you're planning a meeting with the college president, recalling rape always hurts. That's the terrible irony of sexual assault activism. Using your experience to protect others from rape is so empowering and so important, but it also tethers you to your pain. In order to be heard, I had to talk about the night in which violence silenced me. When non-survivors step up and say, I don't need to be hurt to care about assault, they give survivors permission to move our hearts from the edge of our sleeve back to where it belongs. Hearing my friends and professors say, you don't need to stay hurt for us to take this seriously, freed me to finally mourn for my freshman self. And that's when I got my college back. Allies do more than prevent future assault. They help carry the heavy truth that colleges can and should be safer. Only together can we ensure that when we look back, we can say it was compassion, not trauma, that changed the world. It's now my pleasure to introduce a man who has been an unyielding advocate and an invaluable ally to survivors. Please join me in welcoming Vice President Biden. Ladies and gentlemen, when you want to know what the definition of courage is, look at this lovely woman. Now, Like a lot of you in this room, I've been trying to impact on this for a long time. And uh, I have never heard anyone say as eloquently as you've just said, you know, what it's like, how every single time, even today, she stands up and speaks of this. No matter what she says, she relives it for a second in her life. And mom and dad, so do you. Would you guys stand up? Thank you. And you're changing the lives of an awful lot of young women by doing what you're doing. Thank you. Appreciate it.